Hi, I'm Dave McLean, the owner of Emerald Moving. Um, this is a time-lapse video of one of our three men crew uh, loading a 26-foot truck on a residential move service. Um, the reason we're making this is because we want to show you how good we are at what we do. And uh, also, um, please excuse the production value. Uh, hopefully we'll get uh, better at this we, as we go along. Uh, we decided not to have a third party do it for us because, of course, the cost of that will end up showing up on your move bill and nobody wants that, right? So uh, basically what you're going to see here is the technique that we use for loading a uh, 26 or in fact any kind of size of a truck at all. Um, it's called the nine point uh, loading zone technique which we developed ourselves and you'll see uh, some of the stuff is coming on the truck now and you'll notice uh, first of all there's a lot of boxes coming on. Um, the reason we do that, although there's an awful lot of boxes on this move to begin with anyway, so the reason we do that is, is because when it comes time to unload the truck we want to take uh, uh, get most of the furniture off before we bring too many boxes in otherwise the boxes end up being um, where the furniture is supposed to be and what happens then is that we got to move those boxes twice instead of once uh, move is longer costs you more right so as you can see what we're doing here is we're building um, the load on the truck out in layers and uh, basically we put uh, the more durable items uh, near the bottom and the more delicate items near the top and you can notice on each one of those layers that uh, what we're doing is essentially starting again we, we build a flat layer and uh, it's like starting loading again and what the, the idea is is to preserve that uh, um, that routine uh, for the entire length of the truck uh, to keep each layer flat so it's like starting again. Now typically uh, that gets more difficult uh, the further uh, you get into loading the truck um, because what happens is that the more uniform items end up uh, being loaded first and then the less uniform items start to come out last and uh, and uh, there it's it's more difficult to build a flat layer uh, with those less uniform items um, but in this case because uh, the move is a little atypical and there's lots of boxes it gets easier to do that now you might also want to notice the way we strategically wrap furniture items not everything needs to get wrapped and what we do is we position items that aren't wrapped in such a manner that they're surrounded by items that um, are wrapped or um, boxes uh, 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 taking care of the, uh, the finish on those items so here we are, we're at the uh, the mattresses at this point, and um, you see that uh, some of those items are bagged, others aren't, that's an option for the customer. Um, uh, there is a little bit of an extra cost involved in mattress bags, um, so depending on the weather on the day or the quality of the mattress, you can either you know, decide that you don't want those or you do want them. Uh, uh, those options are yours to, to uh, for you to decide. So as you can see, uh, we're starting to get into a little bit more uh, uh, un-uniform items, and uh, there you go. That's that piece of the video that I mentioned that we lost in the middle because our battery ran out. Um, but the the items are getting less uniform, but we're still managing to maintain that uh, building out in layers. Um, I think we're probably about two hours into the loading of the truck at this point. Um, you can see the way uh, it's a team effort. Um, a lot of moving companies you'll see just one guy on the back of the truck constantly and, and the other uh, two guys bringing the stuff uh, 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 out to them. Um, if that was the case here, you'd see uh, one guy standing in there, he'd be doing a lot of nose picking and arm folding because there wouldn't be anything for him to do. Um, in the case of uh, uh, our crews, everybody's involved. Everybody is going in and out of the house. It's a real team effort. Everybody takes part in the uh, positioning of items on the truck. All of the guys are well versed in, in, in what to do and how to do it and uh, they work extremely well as a team. Um, you can see the way that space is being used. There's no space uh, left uh, empty, um, which is important because the truth of the matter is, is that a fully furnished uh, three bedroom house uh, is going to get close to filling this truck up. A four bedroom fully furnished house is going to fill it up completely and that's packing it this way. If you waste any space, uh, you will run out and there will still be stuff in the house. So as we go on here, you can see that the uh, it gets more difficult, and you can actually start those see see, see those difficulties form uh, near the end, and uh, near the end of the truck here, uh, where uh, there's a lot more thought having to be gone into keeping those layers flat. Although at this point we're still doing a really good job of it, which is the case with all of our moves, and. Um, so I'm going to pretty much wrap it up now. You get a bit of a pause there while the guys are working on preparing stuff inside the house. I'm going to wrap that up now and I uh, hope that served to illustrate um, the work and effort that we put into uh, loading a truck altogether. I think that that was about uh, three and a half hours of work. Um, hopefully you'll choose us for your move and look forward to talking to you again in our next video.